Hi, this is Laurel at Molly as a Quilter. So <clears throat> I just want to show you something that I've been working on. So this piece top is a, is a piece of my work and it's very busy. So it's a, uh, it's using jelly rolls. It's very, very scrappy. And so when I'm quilting this, I want to do something that is not working against the, the fact that it's scrappy. And I like I'm not so keen on edge to edge quilting but that's just my preference and obviously my love is ruler work so what I've done is I've looked at some of the patterns that I've used in the past so something that's very angular as this one is I like to introduce curves and so I haven't got the full set of long arm rulers for some of the patterns that I would use on my domestic machine. So I thought, right, what have I got? So I've got the Westerly sampler set, and this is one of my favorite, if I hold it, so I hope you can see. And it's a six inch spiral, and it's got a really handy little hook here. Sometimes we call it a snail, or some people say it looks like a whale. And what I've done, I'm using this curved edge, and rather than going from top to bottom I've put a couple of markers just with a pen on the edge so I've got a reference line and what I'm going to do is create a series of curves using both edges of that so they're going to meet at the point where my reference line is and for those people who are feeling they want to have an experience on a long arm, but they don't feel that confident with free motion quilting. And I'm not a confident free motion quilter, but I'm confident when I've got my rulers because they give me something to work against and I know where I'm going and I know where I'm going to end. So give me a second to set up and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hi, right, so what I'm going to do is use this template and I've got two little reference dots that I've marked on the outside uh, that are just my reference lines. Now on the pattern, I'm using the seam lines as my start and finish where I'm aiming these little loops to go. So I'm gonna put the hook end around the foot and then line my reference line along this diagonal. So that's where I'm going to stitch. So I've got to obviously hold the template in place. So I've got my little gripper things on. So I'm holding that with my right hand and I'm sewing across myself almost. And stop. So I've sewn from the center out along that curve and stop on that seam line. Now, all I do is move the template, put the neck around the foot again, move my reference point down to that at the bottom of the seam line, which is a quarter of an inch away from my destination. This time I'm holding the template with my left hand and I'm going to operate with my right. come back to the center. So what I'm going to do is build these loops around all of those seam lines. So they're my reference lines on. Now, what I wanted to show is that you want to come and have an experience on Molly, but you're a bit anxious about doing free motion quilting, but you've done some ruler work on a domestic machine. It's very easy to switch from using the domestic machine and moving the fabric around to having the fabric stable and particularly on a big hook this is a big piece of work and all you've got to do is steer molly around the templates then this is definitely for you if it's something you want to know more about or if you come in on the retreat and it'd be something you'd like to see obviously we're going to be here uh, and we will be demonstrating various different techniques or, or you want to come and have a ruler work lesson then just get in touch with us and we'll sort out a date but yeah it's um i really love it so i'm gonna keep on see you later